Well, we're all in the middle of a crash course in financial matters in more ways than one, and the lessons have been pretty painful. But Loren McNabb visited some schools where the fundamentals are being taught early so that when it's time to finally leave the classroom for the real world, these students might be a little better prepared than we are. Have you had to roll change to pay for something recently? Have you had to roll change? Okay. Okay, good. Good, that's bad. James Cunningham is a comedian by trade, but spends his days traveling to hundreds of schools to teach students there's nothing funny about money. We teach basic English skills and writing essays, but you know what financial management, one of the most important skills of our life, it's just not mandatory. In North America last year, 16 to 22 year olds spent $100 billion, but only made 5.6. And most have never been taught how to manage it. So for now, Cunningham says the lesson is this, stick to a budget, avoid holding more than two major credit cards, and as soon as you can. I want you to start thinking about weaning yourself slowly off your mom and dad today. You're like, what? That's crazy, bald man. No. Otherwise, the joke's on you. <laughs> like that guy's advice. A new survey finds that teenagers are more interested in their financial education than parents and schools realize. 97% of teenagers say they want to learn more about money. Pat Foran has the details on Consumer Alert. Pat. Well, thank you, Ken. Too many young people end up going to the school of hard knocks when it comes to credit cards, car leasing, and student loans. The first thing we're going to do, when we get credit cards, we're going to look for a nice, low interest rate. James Cunningham of Funny Money gave his own lesson to students on the importance of being financially savvy. He handed out $5 bills and used humor to get across why everyone should be a wise consumer. How about you? You happy? Yeah. So it's a happy dance. Come on, okay? <laughs> what does every single thing that you own have in common right now? And for $5, the answer is they all depreciate in value. In these tough economic times, money management is difficult for many of us. It is especially daunting for teenagers who are just starting to use credit cards and their checking accounts. But some students are now learning how to control their financial future in school. Sean O'Shea explains in tonight's Consumer SOS. Teenagers are the prime targets of consumer product companies who are after a chunk of the huge money that North American teens spend each year. You guys spent $100 billion last year? Guess who knows that? Shoe companies, car companies, cell phone companies, and they're after your money like never before. More and more teens rack up spending with money they don't have using credit cards. Comedian James Cunningham tells these kids to start adding up all the money they spend every month. In most cases, it's their parents' money. Well, folks, I'm here today to talk to you about, uh, about money. Are there any broke people here? Make some noise. Broke people, where are you? Broke people? Yes. This is a leap from youth into early career. People make some of the biggest errors. What I'm going to teach you today, I'm going to teach you how to avoid making those mistakes. Today, uh, we are doing a funny money show, which is, uh, it's my day job. Funny Money is a show that I developed about seven years ago. I was uh, starting up my comedy career, and I would travel around to college and university campuses. I got into managing money and investing and that kind of thing, and uh, as I said, traveled around, and I met a lot of people that were very broke, and so I thought of, you know, it's a great way to, to mix the, the, the gift of comedy with the gift of financial planning and, uh, and create something that's really unique. And once again, how many people would say mom and dad number one source of income? Mom and dad? Okay. I want, you love your mom, I bet you do. <laughs> We're all over North America now, so I'm hoping I can squeeze some stand-up comedy uh, in between <laughs> these funny money gigs.